Hi everyone, hope you're doing well and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to attempt to install Cakewalk by BandLab on my Linux system. Now, I have done this on my day-to-day -day PC which is also running Linux Mint, Cinnamon Edition, and this is my PC that I've installed Linux Mint as well and I've been testing other DAWs. I'm just trying to find out how feasible it is to have Linux as our operating system for music production. So today we try BandLab, which is not available on any other platform other than Windows. But in Linux, we can use a program called Bottles uh, to install and run Windows applications. So to download Cakewalk by BandLab, it's pretty hidden at these days. You can't just search and find it. So I will leave a link in the description. It's bandlab.com forward slash products forward slash cakewalk. And then you install the cakewalk installer. And then, then it will download and install the rest of uh, cakewalk. And to do that, we just, um, I've already downloaded it. And there it is there, cakewalk uh, setup. And... Let's run Bottles. Now this is completely unscripted video. So if I mumble on or say wrong things, I do apologize. I will crack myself later on. And you can always use the comment section below to notify me as well. And I'm going to call this Cakewalk DAW. Um, I'm not sure I want to use gaming or custom. I'm just going to leave it as an application. Um, with that everything default and let's create it. So it will take a couple of minutes for it to generate um, an environment. It's like a virtual environment, like a sandbox environment that it'll create and then it has all of the general core libraries from Microsoft that will make the applications that are being installed think they are running on Windows. Now, I tried a few other DAWs um, to run this way, like Studio One, but it came up saying that it's, it requires Windows 10 and above. Even though I have set it for Windows 10 or in Windows 11 as the mock-up environment for it, but I couldn't get Studio One running. But Cakewalk, I did get it to run. So anyway, uh, let's see how we go. So you have to be a little bit patient while it sets it up. And this is only the initial time. Once it's set up, afterwards running the application, it becomes really, really easy. Now I'm running Linux Mint, which is Ubuntu-based, Cinnamon Edition. My PC has 16 gigabytes of RAM and SSD card of, I think, 256. So this is a test hard drive that I'm running everything on. Okay, bottle created. Right, here we can see install programs. <clears throat> We're at shortcuts. Click run executable. Uh, I think, yeah, that's what we need to do. Run executable. Yep. And I've downloaded it in downloads. Cakewalk setup. I hope I remember every step that I've taken. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Just have to wait for a short while. Hint, things can be a little bit slow initially, but it should pick up. It says two. There we go. Oh, there we go. It was hidden. So I actually went to the bottom there and you could see which window and it's right there. It was hidden. So I didn't have to wait. Next. Uh, I want to download in Studio Instruments. I'm not going to bother with Drum Replacer or Melodyne or the Theme Editor. Demo Projects, yeah, I might download that just for demo purposes. Offline Help and Documentation, yeah, why not? It will take some time, but I can always download that later, but I'll include that anyway. So I'll click Next. So as you can see, we are able to install, download and install Kickwalk by BandLab within Bottles. Bottles is, to my understanding, is the, includes all of the scripts 
that wine uses, but makes it really easy. And you can have multiple of them already configured. So if you have different applica Windows applications set up running under Linux, each has its own confined sandbox environment, uh, sort of all, all everything there. Now, one other thing I might have to do later on, um, if I have any graphical or font issues, is to download and install the Windows Core or Microsoft Core fonts. But we'll find out later on. I will try to edit this video so anything lengthy, I will cut it through if there's nothing happening like now. Okay, so everything is downloaded. Now we are ready to install. And just on that note, I believe FL Studio has already been, already been successfully running on Linux through bottles as well. I've seen a few videos. So let's keep on going. I'm just going to leave it as basic. Next. Yep, it will install under C, Program Files, Cakewalk, VST Plugins. as a VST folder. Because as far as the program is concerned, it will look like Windows environment. All the right folders and files should be available there. Of course, the only question remains once we install it is to find out whether it can run. We are able to record. Go away. Um, and also how the latency is. Can we get very low latency or low enough that we can? record audio. Well, we shall find out. You should stick around. I know this part, I believe it will fail, but have no fear. It won't stop us from running it. I don't know why it requires Microsoft Edge WebView 2 runtime. Initially, when I installed it, it did fail. So we'll see how it happens, how it goes here. We may be successful. It's still installing, but again, I can't remember. We patiently wait. <laughs> Installer error. So when you get this message, don't worry. Just close it. We don't care about Microsoft Edge. And it will continue installing the rest of it. Dun, 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 dun. Are you guys feeling excited as much as I am? It says finishing installation. Right. Launch application. Now, currently, it's not. I'm not going to click that because I want to finish it first and then. I'll, we'll go through into running it through bottles as well. Because remember, I also take um, Studio Instruments version, uh, in instruments. So um, it's going to download all of those. So this way, if we don't run Cakewalk, it will not interrupt all of this installation of the, the, um, the drum, the keys, the bass, as well as the strings. You might ask, well, can you install VST plugins, free or paid version, in, in here? Yes, you can. You can actually down, you can install um, VSTs, and all you got to do um, is copy the VST tree or VST files or the DLLs into the correct folders, the VST plugin folders, um, outside of the bottles. So you're copying them across. And then when you run, Cakewalk will scan those plugins and then you can use them. Of course, not every plugin will work because uh, the bottles and wine might m be missing some of the libraries or Windows libraries, that runtime libraries that you require. So they may not run. Not everything will run, but majority of them should run. But then again, Cakewalk includes everything that you need from compressors, EQs, limiters, uh, reverb, delay, chorus, um, the whole lot is already included in there. So most of the time, if you use all the included plugins, you'll be fine. Unless you're looking at specific uh, VST instruments that you want to add in your uh, projects, then that's a different story. Okay, okay. completing the Cakewalk by BandLab Wizard. Yep, it's all done. We finish. Now we get an arrow. We are ready to rock and roll. Okay, let's run it and see how we go. Now, I haven't set up anything as far as jack audio. Let's see what, what, will, what, will, what will come up. Saying launching. 
Cake Walk by BandLab. We have the screen. Oh, it's gone to full screen. But, um, okay, let's try getting things set up. Now, because of my screen is white screen, some of it is being chopped off on the uh, right-hand side, like the notifications. It says it's not activated. Update available for Melodyne, theme editor. We don't need any of that. So you may not be able to see those, but I will try to see if I can uh, move them across. Can I move them? No, they don't move. Okay. But you can ignore those for now. Click Next. Now, yep, I can select my Yamaha AG03 uh, or my Master Control, which is my Firewire, um, Alice's Firewire Control there. Yeah, well, I'm just going to leave this one, see what happens. Hopefully it's not going to conflict with my sample rate. Let's do 48. I like 48 and 24 bit. Um, wasabi shared. Okay. Select MIDI. Okay, let's select MIDI input and output. Those ones, because I want to see if my analysis uh, master control, which uh, has Cakewalk uh, setup built in, will work. Anyway, the basic setup is fine. Next. Uh, use analytics to improve. I don't think so. Done. Okay. Here we are at the screen. Can I minimize that? Yep. Okay. Not activated. So what I'm going to do next is click on those notifications that comes up on the bottom right-hand side and says uh, sign in to BandLab. I'm going to click on that. And... I'm going to mask that. So I'm going to click Login. And I did get a notification saying Cakewalk has been activated. So even that went through just fine. This is great. So if I... Okay. So a new project. Let's just do um, um, 16 track. And it's loading. Notification saying. Yeah, I'm gonna small make that smaller as well, so we can fit on the screen. Unfortunately, um, right. Okay, so there's 16 tracks being added, and can we arm them? Track one. Let's see if we might have to. Uh, no, what's happening? Uh, it's locked up. Okay, what happened? We we're just doing fine. We were doing fine. Okay, some of the issues now I'm having. Maybe I have to restart. I'll try to restart, see what happens. Yep, Cakewalk is not responding. Wait, can we wait? Can we do anything? Yeah, I didn't encounter this last time. It did work pretty much straight away. But let's um, let's start it again. And launching it again. Okay, let's try one more time. Let's 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 try a blank project. It goes to full screen, which what I like, but it's not gonna capture in my OBS. Okay, let's extend this a little bit further. Okay, all right, okay. Let's add a new track. I think fonts might be uh, some issues. Yep. Create. I have a feeling I have to install Microsoft Core fonts because some of the fonts are not clear. And here I've got AG03 as the input. Let's arm for recording. And can we get? Yep. Well, I can. I can hear an echo. I'm sure you can hear it as well. Okay. There are no levels going up. Let's see if we can record it. 
first time recording. That's a latency there, which I expect because it's got long uh, 1024 samples. Oh, that's not good. Oh, my faders just came up. <laughs> it's, it's odd. Let's see what's happening. Uh, preferences. What are we looking at? AG03 stereo. Okay. Driver settings. Hmm. Let's go to advanced. Driver setting. Devices. Huh. How do you select? Back in recording, what's happy shit? Let's try ASIO. Are we gonna? Is that gonna work? And we don't have any ASI drivers. I wonder if we can install ASIO driver. But regardless, if we select SAPI shared, that should be fine. But why didn't it work? Anyway. Um, record. Okay, now I can actually see levels going up. Let's uh, try one last time. Let's see if we can record. Hopefully we don't get horrible noises. Just going to turn this off. And here we are testing. Oh, yeah, now we can actually see recording. Uh, just turn off that. And, yeah, okay. Let's have a listen back. And here we are testing. Oh, yeah, now we can actually see recording. Uh, just turn off that. And, yeah, okay. Let's have a listen back. Okay, so obviously it works to a certain degree. There are some issues. There are some sort of click and clacks and things, but that's because we, we are running on a Wasapi, and that's the, one of the most horrible drivers that I have um, used in the past. Maybe next time round, I will try to install the, an ASIO for all driver in my Buzzles setup. Maybe, maybe, can I? And then we'll see how that, that, that will run. I will investigate that. Other than that, yeah, uh, how many tracks can we add before it gives up? Last time it was 16. Um, yeah, some of the fonts I can't see. Uh, tracks. Okay. That one. And there we go, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen. Hmm. Only did six. Oh well. Anyway, so uh, that, that, that's how it is. It, 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 this is it. Cakewalk in on Linux. Can we improve it? Well, let me know if you want me to keep uh, digging into it to see if we can make it run in Linux properly. If you're interested, use the comment section below to, you know, excite me and entice me a little bit more to dig deeper and do some research. And I guess, you know, we need to try to run in ASIO mode so that it runs much better. But whether we have that option or not, yeah, well, we'll discover. Well, I hope this helps you out. I hope this excites you. Let me know if you've tried Linux and have you tried Cakewalk? in Linux, or any other DAW in Linux. How do you find Linux as your music production platform? Is it worth spending the time? Because there are some learning curves, as well as some issues in, on Linux to run music production. But let me, let me know your thoughts and your experiences. I love to read them. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching, and have a great time making music. Don't, hey, don't, 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 Forget to give me the like and subscribe to my channel too. Bye.